Hi everyone, we are going to look into your person's thoughts and feelings towards you today and see what's going on. This is a timeless reading. It is for all star signs. So if you're here, hello and welcome. I feel like this can be a sign in itself that there are some messages for you. Um, I have the cards ready. Just wanted to mention that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. If you would like to purchase any personal services, personal readings, intention items, everything's listed down below. So um, there is the personal services such as the personal tarot readings with me, rituals to manifest different areas of your life, black magic energy removal, healing work, prayers, and so much more on my website. And there is also the, um, oh gosh, <laughs> sorry, my eye is itching. Um, there's the intention items, which thousands of people have seen results with. They're meditated with and sage, very special items. Thousands of people have seen results with them. The um, review section's at the bottom of my website and everything's linked down below. Uh, there's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, <laughs> sage bundles, teas, candles. Uh, yeah, so check it out if you are interested. Okay, so your person, your person, what are they thinking about in regards to you today? Hmm, curious. Oh, protection and essence. They have this vibe of wanting to protect you today, which I think is interesting because, you know, they, they're, they're wondering like how your life is. They're wondering if you're okay. They're wondering what's going on with you, you know, um, they're wondering if anyone's hurt you recently, if anyone is um, being nice to you recently. I think a lot of this has also come to the surface because people haven't been so nice to them and they're then now thinking, oh, I wonder if you're okay. I wonder if you're being treated well. I wonder if you're, you know, doing okay in life. I wonder if, you know, um, you're okay with bills and expenses and, um, I mean, you know, uh, what do you call it? You know, you know, when you kind of are, are thinking about like protecting someone, but not just in a, oh, I want to shield you kind of way. It's also about like, I wonder if you're protected in your home life. I wonder if you're protected in regards to your job. And so they really are thinking about how you are. And they also have this urgency, this sense of like wanting to protect you, which is interesting we're going to dig into that a lot more as to like why they want to protect you. Cause yeah, I want to know, I want to know why, why, why this sudden urgency has come through. And then we've also got essence as well. So there's something here. Okay. When I saw this card, I just thought immediately of fragrance, which is so strange because I can't remember the last time I've ever talked about fragrance or perfume or smell in a reading, which is really bizarre. You'd think I'd speak about it a lot more, but I, I can't remember. I <laughs> must've been like a thousand videos ago or something. Um, so this is interesting you know, um, sorry, just getting <laughs> comfortable in my chair. Um, they have thought about a fragrance of yours and how you smell. So whether or not you really wear perfume or any kind of fragrance, mist, whatever, you know, whatever it is that you choose to do, there's something very distinctive about your smell that they miss. And recently they smelt something that smelt like you. Okay. It could be that someone was perhaps wearing the same kind of perfume, cologne, whatever, you know, as you would, or that there is this very distinct smell of something that reminds them of you or your home, for example, or something to do with you, okay? And and that's really what I'm picking up on here. So there's something in, in regards to the, the essence energy here that has triggered their nose. They are exposed to this smell quite often. So that's another thing I really want you to know is that if, for example, you know, they're at work, there could be, you know, someone that wears a kind of fragrance that you wear, or they could, you know, they could have something that smells like you, for example, not your person, but someone else, or um, there's, there's something, there's something here that's triggering them in regards to your smell, very distinctive towards you. We've also got here as well vision. Yeah, so they're starting to really think a lot about you because not only is their nose being triggered, that's one of the big senses, right? The nose smell. But also um, their sense in terms of that spiritual sense is also being triggered a lot, which is them kind of wondering like how you're doing. Are you okay? Um, what's going on in your life? Are you, 
are you okay? Are you all right? <laughs> oh gosh, how do I even describe this? Wow, I'm not very descriptive today, am I? But I think the main thing here is that they, they have this need to protect you because, dun, 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 I knew it. I knew we were going to get there, you know, because I wanted to know why. We've got here justice, okay? So someone here has not been very nice to them. And I feel that they just felt really down and really sad and felt really frustrated with that. And then they started to think and then thought about how they've sort of been treating you and they don't feel they've been doing enough towards you. And they also feel that they haven't been as open towards you as they should have. And so now they're starting to feel bad about how they've been treating you and they're, they're feeling sorry for you, which is interesting, which is also why they want to protect you because there's something here that's triggered them tremendously um, and it's just making them feel frustrated. So justice here shows that they've had some kind of lesson recently which has made them feel that they, they want to protect you, need to protect you. Got here transcend. Oh yeah, there's definitely some kind of like transformative energy that came into their life to really like, you know, transform them in this direction. We've also got sing as well. There's some songs that also remind them of you. I think it's more so the song lyrics as well that really trigger them. So there's obviously that. So there you go. Another sense, which is here. So hear uh, and smell. Sound and smell. Yeah. So ears, nose. Seduction. Yeah, they're feeling super physically attracted to you. I'm going to grab some tarot cards as well in a second. Karma. Boom. Karma and justice. I mean, to have them both in the same spread is quite significant because, you know, justice is about resolving things, which I feel they want to. OK, they're thinking about like, OK, now how can I go and resolve things towards you? How can I make things right? That's justice as well with the scales and that sort of balancing energy. And then karma is also about them feeling like, oh, I got karma, you know, like someone didn't treat me very well based on how I treated you. That's that's basically what they're thinking. And so now they feel like they need to resolve things, make, make things right. They don't want to suffer in their life, but they also don't want you to suffer, which is also why they feel this need to protect you. Okay. Compassion, at least I think that's what it says upside down. Yep, compassion. Yeah, they have compassion now, okay? They have compassion based off how they treated you because someone else didn't treat them very well. They got karma basically for that. Um, what goes around definitely came around in that sense. Now they're being so triggered to think about you. They have a lot more compassion towards you. And we've got aura, okay? So, wow, that's really, oh gosh, it's such a bright card. But um, yeah, they're feeling very, very connected to you on a deeper level, which is very, very powerful indeed. I'm just going to put this back in here. This deck, I forgot what it was called, actually. Um, isn't really nice, actually, the packaging, because you can actually reuse the packaging. So it came in a box, which, to be honest, maybe is a bit wasteful. But then it came in one of these, and it doesn't actually say anything on it, which means that you can actually just stand it up on a table and put pens in it and things like that. I love this. This is, this is you know, I love to reuse things like this, and it just holds the cards in it. That's so nice, actually. You know, if other decks had that, then I wouldn't have to stack them on top of each other. That's a really great idea. I think that's genius. I think it's genius. Um, and, you know, you can put other things as well in there. Oh, anyways, I love that. I love the idea of that. Because otherwise, you know, the other boxes, they just get thrown away, don't they? So, or you kind of store your cards and just leave them on side. But I use my cards so often, I can't just keep <laughs> taking them out of the boxes all the time. Because I literally use them on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so, cards... I just thought that was so nice, you know? <laughs> All right. See, these are like tiny little things that just excite me so much in the day. It's like, it's it's really lovely. Okay, so we've got the Queen of Swords. Feathers. Oh, I'm going to go with this many, okay? We've got the Four of Wands here. So obviously they feel that there's a really special bond between the two of you. They're feeling super attracted to you physically, okay? They can't stop thinking about you. So they can't stop thinking about your body, your smell. Um, and also, something about music. There's something about music here that's coming through. Temperance here as well. They're taking things a little bit slow. Their feelings are quite strong towards you in the physical sense, but they also feel that you're very balanced and you're very kind and they kind of feel like they've gotten karma, okay? So again, the temperance energy here is showing that. We've got here a very strong lover's energy, so they feel very, very attracted to you. We've got here truth with aura. They're understanding their own personal truth, that they really, really like you. They care about you a lot. 
they want to protect you and, and so they have this like instinct towards you of wanting to do more and I really feel here with the magician that's communication energy we've got strong throat chakra energies you know even the nose is connected to the throat chakra so they're obviously very triggered to say something from what I'm seeing here and they want to eight of pentacles they show they need to work on things a little bit more and kind of come up with a plan and then I feel they will want to communicate with you We've got double Mercury energy here, right? So that's the communication planet. But also, Queen of Swords, they respect you a lot more. They respect you because they've been treated in such a bad way and they realize that they've actually treated you in this way. So now they have compassion. They have understanding for how they've treated you. They can actually understand some of the things that you said to them. They can understand some of the, the ways in why... Uh, sorry, the ways in which you may have felt frustrated with their actions because they have felt the exact same way with someone else doing it to them. You see? So what goes around definitely did come back around and now they're starting to feel like, oh, wait a second, I did do that to you. No wonder you acted in this way, you know? So that's basically what's happened. So this is your reading. If this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Um, the affirmation for this reading is what goes around comes around. Comment it down below if you claim it or if you, you know, um, you uh, find that it resonates. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, intention items. I have TikTok and Instagram all linked down below and I'll see you all very soon. Bye everyone.